In this lesson, we're going to integrate secant cubed x dx. So what's the first thing we need to do? Let's split it into two parts. We're going to say secant x times secant squared x dx. And what we need to do is we need to use integration by parts. The integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So we're going to say that secant x is the u variable. So that means that du has to be the derivative of secant, which is going to be secant x tangent x dx. So the part that remains, secant squared dx, that's going to be dv. Now, v is the integral of dv, so the integral of secant squared is tangent x. So using this formula, it's going to be u times v, so that's secant x, and v is tangent x, minus the integral of v du. So v is tangent, and du is secant tangent, and then dx. So we have tangent times tangent, which I'm going to rewrite that as tangent squared. So what do you think we need to do at this point? You need to know that tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. So let's replace tangent squared with that. And then let's distribute secant to secant squared minus 1, and we're going to split the integral into two separate integrals. So right now we have secant x tangent x minus the integral of secant squared x, and then this is going to be negative 1 times secant times another negative, so that's going to be positive secant x. Now I almost made one little error secant times secant squared is not secant squared. Rather, it's secant cubed. So that should be a 3. Let's use a white color. Now, what do you think we need to do at this point? Let's focus on the integral of secant x. We don't need to worry about this because these two terms are the same, and I'm going to add that to the left side. But for now, let's just focus on secant. To integrate secant, you need to multiply the top and bottom by secant x plus tangent x. If you do, you're going to get the integral of, if you distribute this, secant squared on top plus secant tangent x, and on the bottom just secant x plus tangent x dx. Now what we're going to do is make u equal to the stuff on the bottom, secant x plus tangent x, and so du is going to be the derivative of tangent is secant squared and the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x times dx. So notice that this part is the same as du. And we can replace this part with u. And I'm definitely running out of space, so let's just get rid of what we have up here. And so now we have the integral of du over u, and the integral of 1 over u is the natural log of u plus c. And so u is equal to this, and so we're going to have natural log secant x plus tangent x plus c. So that covers the integral of secant. So let's rewrite what we have. Our original problem is the integral of secant cubed, and so far that's equal to secant tangent 
minus the integral of secant cubed. And then we can replace the integral of secant x with this expression. So plus natural log secant x plus tangent x plus c. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to add this integral to both sides of the equation. So on the right side, these two will cancel. On the left, 1 plus 1 is 2. So on the left, we're going to have 2 times the integral of secant cubed x, and that's equal to secant x tangent x plus this stuff. Now the last thing we need to do is multiply both sides by a half. A half times 2 is 1. And so this will give us the final answer. The integral of secant cubed is going to be 1 half times secant x tangent x plus the natural log of secant x plus tangent x and then plus c. And that's it. That's how you can integrate secant cubed. So that's the answer.